light some incense. So I have a solo exhibition this June. Okay, let me let me check how this looks and then I'll I'll come back. It's like a lot of incense happening. <laughs> so this summer I'm doing my first solo exhibition. So there's a lot to prepare and I wanted to share with you guys. So I wanted to share the process of everything with you guys step by step as I go through it all and one important thing to note, which seems random, but I got really obsessed with knitting. Something I thought I would never really get into because when I was younger, I learned to crochet, but knitting seemed really hard and complicated and confusing. But this winter, First of all, it was freezing in Korea, but we also had increased social distancing measures during the end of December and beginning of January. And so I finally got around to knitting my first ever sweater. It was super fun. I actually recorded the whole thing and I recorded all of the knitting projects that I did this winter, but then my hard drive died. It now makes the beeping sound of death. Um, if you've ever had a hard drive die on you, you, you know how I feel. So I lost all of that footage, but I thought, you know, why not start anew and kind of show you guys um, the process of finishing a knit piece. I still have one project that I'm still finishing it is a balaclava and sweater set, which was very much inspired by Paloma wool. And I've yet to finish it because it's a little bit more complicated than I thought. The balaclava actually wasn't too bad. Um, I even made one for my friend and I made um, a matching one for myself, but the sweater has been taking forever. So, I thought we could at least finish this project together. How this knitting thing all ties into my solo exhibition is that I've already planned the show and how it's going to be organized. And the main theme of the show is putting the focus on the process of creating more than on the final product. So to explore that, I'm most comfortable with printmaking as a medium. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it before here, but I usually design everything digitally and then make screen prints or Rizzo prints of my work. But I wanted to use this opportunity to explore a lot of different crafts. You know, I did like eight months of stained glass training and I obviously learned how to knit recently and um, I always wanted to do like ceramics or making more kind of like 3D objects as well. So I thought to the end of showing you know, the process, I want to make all of these different mediums of work kind of tie in together. And I want to make things somewhat spontaneously too. So what I love about knitting is really the process of it. It's very meditative, meditative. <laughs> Generally, I have to focus on what I'm doing. And I really like that about knitting that I get lost in the process of it. And so I feel like it fits super well with what I'm trying to get across in the exhibition. So I want to make three knitted textile pieces. And in the second part of the video, we can kind of go over that. So let's go ahead and finish this knit together.
today is supposed to be cold? Uh, I think... I thought not. I think you two can see yeah, the I will. This is your phone. Mm-hmm. Your phone. Yeah. I don't know if the sound's gonna come out. There you go. Thumbs up. Hi again. <laughs> I went shopping in Tongdae Moon, which is a huge fabric market. As you guys saw, I went to Dongdae Moon, I went to Azomis. They're both places you can find lots of yarn. Azomis is in Mangwon. If you're in the neighborhood, it's a little bit more of a chill shopping experience. But Dongdae Moon, you can find everything. But yeah, you saw me with my iPad. I am gonna explain what we're gonna make over the next couple of weeks. I thought about making an illustration into a knit, but I think it's pretty difficult and it lacks the kind of spontaneity. Like it would take all the enjoyment 
out of knitting for me because I would just be focusing on like when do I need to make this color stitch or that color stitch. So um, the designs I made are kind of loose and allow for a lot of interpretation, for improvisation. The concept of one of them is like seeing the sunrise through um, blinds. So it's going to be brioche in black and then the background is going to fade from dark blue to medium blue to pink, orange, this cool pear green. The second one is going to use white as the dominant brioche color and I want to make it like a shooting star. So the white lines will be like the trails of the star and the beading will get more and more intense as you get to like the star part of the shooting star. I also, in the background, it will be dark colored yarn, but I do want to weave in little pieces of colorful scrap yarn and add little beads there. So it's like there are stars within the big star. And if I have time, I do want to make a third piece with all of the scraps. Like even for this sweater, I had a bunch of yarn left over. So that is the plan. Yeah, there is a lot to do, but breaking it down like this and also documenting it and sharing it makes it feel a lot more manageable. And I'll just be sharing more of the process of the exhibition with you guys. I'm going to see the space for the first time in Busan in a couple weeks, so I'll definitely film that and share that. But until next time, bye.